Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the gear kit on the freezer of your refrigerator. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, it's best that we remove all of the items in the freezer. So pull the drawer open, remove all of those items, and you may wish to put them in a separate deep freeze or refrigerator until we complete the repair. We'll also want to disconnect power to the refrigerator, so either pull it far enough forward that you can unplug it, or locate the electrical panel, turn off the appropriate breaker, or remove the appropriate fuse. Once we've done that, we can start our repair. Now that we've emptied everything out of the freezer, our next step is to remove this basket. Just simply grab hold of it, lift it out, and set that aside. Now we'll also need to remove the complete freezer door front panel completely away from that refrigerator. It makes it easier to access the part. So our first step is to remove these trim pieces on the side. There are two plastic locking tabs on each one. Simply pull those back, lift up gently, lift those covers off, and then we'll set those aside. Now to remove that freezer door assembly, the mounting brackets sit into some notches on the drawer slides. In some models you may find that there is a rivet or a screw on the front end that needs to be removed first. If it's a rivet, you'll need to drill off the head of that. So using an eighth inch bit and a uh, portable drill, we're just gonna drill those out first. So just position your drill bit in the center of that rivet. Once we've drilled that through, We'll do, repeat that procedure on the opposite side. Now once we've removed both of those rivets, we're simply going to lift up on the front of this door and then remove the two hooks at the back and then we'll set that aside until we do the repair. Now our next step is to remove the center rod from between these two gears. So we're going to pull it into the gear that has the long throat on it. So give it a sharp pull in that direction. That'll disengage from the opposite side. You can just tilt it up, remove it, and set it aside. So our next step will be to remove the old gears from the actual slides. So taking a flat blade screwdriver, we'll just go in between the gear and the slide and pry that off. Well, that will expose the bushing that the gear actually fits into. So we'll need to pry that off as well. We'll do the same on the opposite side. And then remove that bushing as well. And then we'll discard those. So our next step will be to fully extend those rails. And we'll snap in the new bushings. You'll note that there are two flat sides on those. We'll line them up with the flat sides in the opening. And then press them into place. Do the same for both sides. Now when installing the new gears, we'll take note that there are some cut teeth on two sides of that gear. There's four cut teeth on each side. And we need to position those when we snap that gear into that bushing so that the first cut tooth lines up in the first slotted opening on that track. And then just snap that gear onto the bushing. 
do the same on the opposite side. Again, it has two sets of cut teeth. Make sure the rail is pulled all the way out. And again, we'll pull both rails all the way out. We'll take the connecting rod, slide it into the long gear first. short one on the other side and then now we're ready to reinstall the drawer front. Now when reinstalling that door assembly we want to make sure that we engage these hooks on the end of those side brackets into these slotted openings near the rear of the slide. We need to engage both sides and then there's another tab up close to the front that will fit into that notch on the front of the slide. Sure that it sits down flush and the hole should line up. Now you can either put a screw back in that or you can rivet it on, whichever your choice might be. So next we'll put the covers in place, line up the opening on top of that gear, keep it tight up against the slide, and then just push it down into place. Make sure both those locking tabs engage. Now we're ready to put that lower basket in. The tapered end in first. Make sure it sits down flush. And we're ready to load it up again. We're now ready to reload the freezer, reconnect the power, and your repair is complete.